guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, uh, this is another one of my stories I wrote. Uh, I think I wrote this a year ago, I believe. I don't know, I think it's kind of hard to keep track of them after a while. And after you, you write so many. But, um, it is called uh, Dr. Fate X Reader. So let's get started. <clears throat> you are telepathic, uh, listening to anyone's thoughts that came across, or came near you anyways. And you also had telekinesis as well, able to pick up any object, even yourself off the floor, with ease. One day, as you were walking back to your house uh, in the woods, as everyone feared you for your powers, so you, you lived out in the woods alone. But as as you looked around, as you came across a came across some people standing there talking to each other. One of them w w was dressed in gold and blue with a gold cape, and, and you were entranced with his colors and his eyes. Doctor Fate, one of them said, but you stepped on a trig trying to walk away. Everyone looked in your direction, started started to walk closer to you. So you ran, trying to get far away. But then a rope wrapped around your waist and pulled you pulled you out into the open in front of everyone. <clears throat> Who are you? It's why were you spying on us? It's, you started to get scared and so you used your powers to throw them all back a couple a couple feet away from you. They were all mad, wanting to kick your ass to the ground. But Doctor Fate stood in front of them. Uh, stood in front of them, stopping them from uh, from going near you. Doctor Fate floated to you calmly, calming you with his presence near you. The only reason you were not scared of him was, um, was that um, as you read his mind, he had no intention of hurting you. Why are you not scared? Of, why are you not scared of me, but only of them? Um, just others want to hurt me, but I read your mind, and you had no thoughts of hurting me like they did. So you are telepathic. It was more of a statement than a question. Hmm. How would you like to be my apprentice? Doctor Fried asked. You can't be serious, Dr. Fate. We just found her, and she was spying on us. Enough, Dr. Fate yelled. I would love to be, you say. A few months later, as you were as you were reading a spell book, as you were reading one of the spell books off of uh, off of the shelf in the library, uh, you're starting to get tired, so you stood up and walked out of the lab. Walked out. Sorry about that. Where was I? Mm. As you're reading, as you're reading a spell book, um, off of his shelf, uh, in one of his libraries, uh, you're starting to get tired, so you stood up and walked, walked out. Um, and walked out of the library and looks for your master. Um, as you were looking around, it, it, as you turned into a room to see him sitting in a chair, reading one of his many spell books. S and so you snuck up behind him, then wrapped your arms around him, hugging him from behind. And uh, yet, then you went around and then sat sat into his lap. Are you comfortable? Yes. This wasn't the first time you did this. Ever since he brought you here. Uh, to be his apprentice, is, you've been doing it. He never minded. He never minded it, though. Um. And then you were out in a deep sleep, slightly, lightly snoring, laying your head down on his chest, asleep. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was cute. I liked it. I hope you guys liked it as well. Thank you for watching.